few hours ago, they added a new update that was added in preparation for dungeons coming out finally. They added a new hub to enter dungeons, which looks awesome, but the new feature we're going to be talking about today are the new reforge stones, specifically the ones obtained from dragons. The new reforge we're going to be talking about today is called Fabled, and you can obtain this reforge stone from all dragons. They are just about as rare as an AOTD. The Fabled reforge is easily the best reforge for a sword, with a special ability that deals up to 20% more damage. It's really powerful. The second reforge I'll be showing today is the Reowned Reforge, which is a reforge that is obtained as a rare drop from superior dragons. And because of how rare it is, it's over 13 million coins per reforge. And because there are four armor pieces, it costs almost 50 million coins to put on your whole set. And as you can guess, that's what we're gonna be buying today. I hope you enjoy the video. When the reforge update dropped, I was really interested in all the dragon drops. So I immediately began going for the best sword reforge in the game, which is obtained from killing any dragon and the stone is about as rare as an AOTD. And only after five dragons, I got the drop I wanted. So I immediately went and spent the rest of my money on a tier six AOTD and created the best sword in the game. As you can see here, I have a fabled AOTD. It has 295 damage. 210 strength and 100 crit damage has all the highest tier enchants and as you can see at the bottom it has a fabled bonus critical hits have a chance to deal up to 20 percent extra damage and it has one anvil use this is by far the best sword in the game right now coupling that with a level 100 ender dragon pet i recently got this pet to level 100 today while grinding my combat this pet gives an extra 50 damage and 30 strength to the otd making it better than a midas sword and making it the best sword in the game Funnily enough, while grinding my combat, I got a scythe blade from my boss, and that's one of the rarest drops in the game, and you would think that's pretty special, but that drop alone only pays for half of one of my armor reforges. After scouring the auction house, I ended up buying four different dragon horns for over 13 million coins each, approximately spending over 50 million coins to put them all on my set. I had done it, I was one of the first players to put full renown on my superior set. As each armor piece now gave an extra 1% boost to all of my stats, I was able to obtain the highest magic find possible. Coupled with a level 100 black cat that I was borrowing from Refraction, I was able to achieve 137 magic find, which is absolutely insane. But getting high magic find is not the point of today's video. We're going to be looking through these reforges and seeing how much damage we can do now. Alright, so I have my fabled AOTD here, Fevery God Enchant, and I'm going to hit an Enderman. I did 232k damage, let's see. Because I've fabled, my damage is a bit random, so. Did 260k there, so it's pretty good. Let's use a overflux and wood tuba. 250k there. 276k. So I'm dealing like almost up to 300,000 damage with just superior, using full renown superior. It's pretty insane. All right, so now I've switched to Tux. I don't have full renown on my Tux yet, but I'm just going to see how much I can do with my fabled AOTD. 350k, 360k, 370k. Overflux and Wood Tuba. 350k, 340k, 362k. Feels like it didn't even go up, but I think that's just because of the RNG that you get with fabled. Yeah, 390k there, so I'm doing almost 400k with Tux. That's pretty insane. Alright, now that I've shown how insanely powerful these reforges are, we're going to do some dragons and see how much damage we can do and hopefully get some cool drops. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video.
As you can see in those dragons, I got pretty good loot. I got a bunch of AOTDs and reforged stones. I did insane damage to those dragons. And the only time I ever got out damaged was by someone using a frozen scythe. And that already got nerfed. So this is by far the best strategy to deal damage on dragons right now. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>